this is the windows form application in this application i will add rdlc report now let's check the rdlc report exist or not in the list so resource there is no rdlc report in the list okay let's go to the reporting there is no report viewer also so now i'm gonna add rdlc extension go to the tools and extension and update click on extension and updates and please wait yes here go to the online and charge the rdlc yes this is the microsoft rdlc report designer the rdlc designer and project for asp.net okay just click on download yes it's downloading it takes some times please wait okay it's downloaded now close and then you will see this pop-up window just click on modify okay it's installing microsoft rdlc report close rdlc report is installed successfully let's start the application again yes now let's check the report viewer so go to toolbox and expand the reporting and in this reporting there is no report viewer microsoft report viewer to add report viewer uh, i will add my nougat package so go to the solution explorer right click on the application and uh, click on manage nougat package nougat package okay now i write report viewer only report viewer okay it displaying the report viewer just click on install it's installing okay i accept yes it's finished you can see it's finished now go to the toolbox again and choose items browse you can get it in the uh, to download this package you can get in the uh, your application just click on the your application directory and library net 40 and microsoft report windows forms dot dll just click on open click on ok yes report viewer is displaying in the toolbox the reporting section okay now let's design an rdlc report so add new item new rdlc report yes this is the report dot report one dot rdlc name the report report is test report click on add yes it's added this is my report now insert text object text box uh, is test report in programming geek okay change the font size and alignment font size is 24 alignment yes it looks good now this is the Windows form add the report viewer expand the reporting and just drag the report viewer and drop it in the windows form application okay it's uh, application uh, the report viewer is added in the windows form application now at a level control this level control will be used as title of this page of this report so view test report text is view test report change the font size font size is 16 okay font bold true yes this is center okay now this is the form load event just uh, write code to display the report display the test report in the windows form report viewer so report viewer one dot local report dot report path report path will be test report dot rdlc just copy this name report name and uh, paste it in the path okay start debugging and the report path required the report should have in the bin debug folder of the application uh, or place the path bin debug folder path so click on show all file this is bin debug folder 
right click on the application this is the directory of the report report is test report dot rdlc this is the test report dot rdlc and this is the directory just copy the directory and uh, put it in the path paste it in the report path okay yes this is the report path add backslash yes and add at the rate at the beginning of the path to avoid this error let's debug yes the report is perfectly loaded in the report viewer okay now i'm gonna put this report test report dot rdlc in the bin debug folder yes the report is now in bin debug folder test report dot rdlc okay now remove this path this is a bit difficult to foot path in the report path better to foot the report in the bin debug folder yes now the report is retrieved from the bin debug folder okay hope you understand it now unselect the select all file see that in the bin debug folder report test report .rdls is available so i hope it's clear for you if you have any doubt please submit a comment i will try to reply as soon as possible have a nice day thank you